Thank you very much, Stefano, and thank you very much to Goldman Sachs and uh, Universita Bocconi. So very difficult to say something after Stefano, Darian, and Peter, they, they said quite everything we can say on, on infrastructure. Um, what can I add? I, I, I will confirm some, some uh, let's say, dramas that, that, that we face on, on those type of uh, industries and perhaps we'll end with a more specific Italian problematic. Uh, confirmation, yes, a worldwide situation. There is a lot of infrastructure to be, uh, to be, to be done worldwide. So there is, i.e., there is a lot of uh, competitiveness. So talking as an Italian, we will face uh, competitiveness with other countries if we want to attract uh, finance, debt and equity, we need to do better infrastructure than the others. It's, uh, it's simply a global market. Finance is, is very uh, I mean, a lot of sectors, finance, finance, everything. Uh, as you see, Europe has a lot of, uh, as a big space. Still, still, and here we are starting with, with the problematic, still a lot of bank loans, uh, but uh, volumes are increasing. And we are starting to see uh, that perhaps there is a problem. Uh, and the problem is uh, Basel Tree, which is th the first of the dramas, uh, which is the banking drama. Basel Tree uh, is an escalation, as you see, until 2022. It's tough. It's, it's, you, we, we in Casa, every day, we, we meet with banks that they, they just come to us and say, you know, banks today, uh, maturities, five, seven years, worldwide. Uh, we have some problems, but we have a very strong team. We can advise. Th this is what we are facing in, in our meetings nowadays. So this is something uh, which, which uh, have perhaps a solution. Uh, the solution Dario tried to, to, to explain what, what his EAB is doing, and we, uh, as my general director last week in, in this uh, aula, just confirmed we are supporting uh, EAB uh, effort, exercise. Uh, so in, in these first two years, we we are near to EIB in the Italian project. We will buy, sure, uh, the bonds. Uh, and after the first two years of exercise, we will see what, what, what the market will be and we will take our decisions. Because there is an opportunity. This is the opportunity. The opportunity is that infrastructure assets are a good assets. They have very good recovery rates, so portfolio losses are quite interesting. Uh, I should say better than, than corporate bonds. Uh, and and it, last year's history of, of uh, default, see that even during the crisis, uh, project finance was not so bad. So this is the opportunity, and that's why we think um, what uh, EAB is doing is exactly the answer and, and we look very, very close to what's happening. Second drama, Solvency 2. Second drama because Solvency 2 comes just after Solvency 1. Solvency 1 is uh, uh, regulated the insurance uh, industry and, and it was very easy for, for insurance funds and pension funds to invest in infrastructure. Now, 
Solvency 2 changed everything. We are very, very close to have something like Basel 3. Uh, as you see, corporate bond charge uh, it's, it's increasing with the, uh, uh, the rating. Uh, and long term is not very considered. You see, there is a, the duration cap for, for reaching the, the floor is very short. So, and, and something strange is that between a, a A rated bond and a triple B bond, on the long term side, there is not such difference, which is something that perhaps could be changed. We, we already uh, uh, brought this type of uh, demand to, to the uh, authorities. Uh, our view is that, that on solvency, the, the, the regulatory uh, authority should find um, a new, a new place for, for infrastructure bond, perhaps in the middle between uh, corporate-related bonds and, and government bonds, something different. We should be in the middle, uh, but not exactly uh, uh, as a corporate bond. Uh, we demonstrated before that, that the default rate are, are better and, and uh, the assets are still uh, uh, very, very, very strong. Now, so I just repeated what Peter, Stefan, and Dario said. What I would like to to talk about is the Italian drama. Uh, you know this type of uh, slide. It's very, it's uh, something that, that we learn at university, so here. Where is the Italian problem? The Italian problem is the lack of feasibility study. It's like in venture capital, we, we don't have seed capital for infrastructure. No, no one, nobody is investing in feasibility study. We don't have any, what I should call, project economists in this country. They disappeared. If you, every, we invest, uh, we, we lend money, to quite all the infrastructure that are in the country. I don't think there is an infrastructure in the country that we, we haven't seen. It's difficult for us to find a suitable feasibility study. It's difficult to find a feasibility study. Dario before was saying something really true. There is a height mortality rate. The high mortality rate is not because the projects are not bankable, it's because the projects are not feasible, which is different. It means that at the starting point of the exercise, an engineer or an architect should meet an economist. And there start the discussion, and there start the, the, the construction of something that little by little will face the, the, the ending of the, of the chart, which is the, the contractual document and, and equity loans and, and, I hope, project bonds. We, we don't have the starting point. Uh, if you look at the, the tendering of the local authority, you don't find feasibility study on tender. Uh, and I'm sure this can be confirmed by people here in the university working on this type of uh, exercise, um, we should stress this. This is the, uh, the most important issue the country faces for new infrastructure. Uh, and even in how, I will finish with this, feasibility study are, are settled. I have seen in some feasibility studies that still in this country we think that greenfield projects can be uh, can can give returns on equity with eight percent IRR, even six percent IRR. I've seen. Now, how can we uh, attract 
what uh, Dario or, or Stefano before were, were, were presenting, uh, international or worldwide equity funds, if not put on the table 12%. It's impossible. And still we see bids where the figure of 8%, 9% is put. Uh, this is perhaps the, the, the message as CASA we, we would like to, to stress. We are thinking about doing something. We don't know exactly uh, actually what we're going to do. Uh, EAB is a big player on, 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 on this type of uh, uh, situation, but I think EAB, um, the role of EAB should be more on, on the countries that not like Italy can have the possibility to put on, on the table economists, very good economists, uh, project economists that can do the job. And I hope this message can be, uh, can, can bring to somebody here in this university. Thank you very much.